Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Eric de Saulnier. He's with Nouveau Monde. How are you today? It's pretty good, and your French is good, by the way. Well, I don't know about that, Eric, but I do know what's really fantastic is you've just put out your uh, preliminary economic assessment results, and they were fantastic. Let's talk about those first. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yes, we had a very good result that we published finally last year. It's one of the great projects, not only in graphite, but a great developmental project in mining in general. It's over 400 million of NPV, uh, uh, over 30% of IRR, less than, two, less than three years uh, payback period. So I guess it's a fantastic project. Well, I, I was very interested by the internal rate of return, which you just touched on, and of course your, your NPV, but uh, several members of your team are very excited about the metallurgical results. Can we talk about those a little bit? Yeah, I think we have, uh, there's a lot of great projects out there. Uh, us, our big strength is our metallurgical results and our location. That's what uh, make us, uh, I mean, a, a, a not risky project, and we know we can sell our production. Metallurgical result, we have about half of our production is plus 80 mesh, which gave a premium. And on top of it, all our product are above 96%. So in average at 97, 98%, making us, you know, we can tap in all niche market in graphite. That's very exciting for us. Well, I think uh, for all of our investor intel audience out there, we're very bull on graphite. And I want to talk a little bit more about your infrastructure and location. So could you kind of give us an overview for Nouveau Monde for some of our uh, audience members who may not be familiar with this story? Yeah, so what we did in the last three years, we started in 2012, incorporated that company personally, uh, brought it public 2013. And what we were doing, it's exploring a huge territory of 10,000 square kilometers, all around the only uh, producing mine at the moment, owned by Imris Graphite and Carbon. And we covered a huge territory. Uh, I will skip all the myths that we had in the last two years. I think we know each other since two, three years. You saw these myths. But last summer, we discovered a huge deposit. You know, after a few metallurgical results, and uh, some initial drilling, we knew we were on something very unique. And that's what we are drilling since last year. 11,000 meter drilling, prove up 84 million ton of ore, huge deposit. Okay, and let's just, I wanna talk a little bit more about your location though. Uh, with respect to the competitors in the sector, you're actually farther south, you're closer to uh, a really good highway and support. Can you, can you talk a little bit more about that? The infrastructure, me? yes. It's uh, about an hour and a half north of Montreal. It's at the end of the 131. It's, it's a small city named Saint-Michel-des-Saints and uh, all the labor is there. It used to be a very active places for uh, forestry. Louisiana Pacific have a huge mill there. They were doing panel board, but they shut down that operation in 2006, leaving a big empty uh, 20,000 meter square, 10 megawatt of power facility, four kilometers from our deposit. We look in our PEA to use it as a concentrator, but trucking four kilometers in the city, 6,000 ton a day of ore wasn't a good idea, but to do the second transformation. So what we want to do, our mission is to do an old material at the end. So for doing spherical graphite and an old material and potentially graphene, uh, in that facility, it's already built there and people want us to do second transformation. The government want that, the municipality want that. So the infrastructure in Saint-Michel-des-Saints is fantastic. We cannot only think of making graphite, but we can also thinking of making, making the second transformation. And there's 4,000 people there, skilled labor. I would live there with my wife and my four kids. You know, it's an hour and a half from Montreal. It's a great place. I wouldn't live in any of the, my competitor location. So that's a big advantage. Obviously, other people agree with us on how interesting New Belmond is because you just did an oversubscribed private placement. So you have a lot of investors in the industry that are backing you up. Can you tell us what you plan on doing with, this, uh, with these monies? Yeah, so that money will, uh, you know, we, did, we, we wanted to do that financing before the summer kicks in so we can start the work. So what we do is 7,000 meter drilling we start in baseline environmental study and we, uh, we are developing our flow sheet. We have a very, uh, very detailed uh, uh, testing program for making spherical graphite and we will come up. It will be all included in our pre-feasibility work that will be out probably early 2017. 
And speaking of graphite, you do have very unique graphite for flake size, is my understanding, and, and you're using this advantage as well for graphene research. Can you talk to us a little bit about this? Uh, yeah, you saw that. So, so graphite is graphite. Right? So you need to have the most amount of big flakes and the highest purity possible after flotation with a cheap mean. And that's what we have. So now we can tap in all the value-added product, spherical graphite included, but graphene included as well. We received $25,000 grant for the INSERC program earlier this year, and we are working with UCAM in Montreal. Mohamed Siage is the, the professor. He knows what he's doing. He's very good. You should visit his lab. Uh, he's doing that since 2008, converting graphite into uh, graphene, natural graphite into graphene. So what he's doing for us is two things. First, characterize exactly the graphene that we can produce with, with our product, with different flake size. And second, uh, start thinking upscaling it, making it bigger when the market will be there to, uh, to buy that, uh, that graphene, you know. So Eric, in addition, of course, to the oversubscribed private placement, the, P the robust PEA results, yeah. what should we as shareholders anticipate, say, in the next couple of quarters? Because your stock has really been performing very well in comparison with the overall graphite market. Yeah, so what, what we are doing next, now we have a, a business card. We have a project, you know, it's a brand new discovery. So now we have a PEA showing the people we are talking with and the, the market participant, the lithium ion market participant, also big graphite uh, players at the moment. So now we have a project to show them. So uh, I think our discussion will go at the next level first. And second, we are drilling, we'll increase the resource. Now we are focusing on the west zone. Maybe you knew we had the south and the west. We did the trade-off, the west is better. So now we can upscale, up, upgrade the resource in the west zone and expand it a little bit. So that's why the drill is coming in the field next week to start that and also developing our uh, value added product uh, flow sheet. That's very important for the company going forward. Well, Eric, thank you so much for joining us today. And you have to come and visit us more often, okay? I will, promise. Thank you.